Yas, hey, Yas, 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 where's hey, Chase, where's my in the studio? Coming to you live from the Berg, you listen to WHEI 88.9. This is Ju, Randy, Avery, and Kendall, and this is the Birds and the Bees. Oh, I didn't know you wanted your headphones, bro. My bad. Yeah. Alright. So how y'all doing? Hey. Welcome back. We just got back from a soft Easter break. It was soft. It was, it was good though. It was a nice little wow. Easter break. Yeah. Yeah, we actually just got back from a soft practice too, man. Oh yeah, man. Everybody in here tired, man, but it's all good. We still gonna bring y'all to the show today. Was, it wasn't a soft practice can do. It wasn't soft. it was nothing soft about it. Hey, hey, but I will but I will say this. But I will say this though. I did. I did hear Kendall out there yelling. I did hear you yelling. Did hear you laughing around and, and telling everybody that they were that they were sweet. And they just I didn't have it. I gotta tell them every time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, look, look, I'm going somewhere with this. You know what I also heard? Did you hear? I I might as well tell everybody else. We've been telling Randy that if he if he wants to embrace his role where he thinks he's the best and he wants to tell everybody he's the best and he's just that guy, he needs to act like it. Oh yeah, he. I heard, I heard Randy at practice like, oh yeah, y'all, y'all ain't ready for these one on ones, man. Y'all ain't even good enough, man. But like, I was, bro. I, I was like, I was like, was that I, what you're talking about? I ain't even was hyping before. Bro, I'm talking How about the one on ones. Go. I was getting Randy dressed. Everybody was on his back. Everybody was on my back. Now. He was over three as far as I know, and that percentage is just terrible. It was oh, too bad. Boy. It was 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 too bad. And okay. now it's cruising. I'll take responsibility for it. It's cool, Bess. Uh, that's how they was like that. They was like, you know, they was like, Coach Coy, is this your best right here on the open three? He's knocking them up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they, they all over this, man. Yeah, for I for, claiming, for claiming the title and just not living up to it. See, if you're going to do it, you got to do it. See, no, but, no, but I heard him out there hollering him for, for the first time. You got to get excited. I, I, I've there. never heard Randy holler like the way he was yesterday, well, today. I never you heard him out man. there, man. I swear that's never heard him in. That's the point I'm in, man. I'm out here trying to have fun. No, you wasn't. You had to tell everybody they suck. That's, that's what I'm saying. Promote you. That's what I'm on, man. Wow. So you got to promote yeah. yourself with it and then go ahead with it, then. Why not? I don't you got to have fun out there. I don't think you had fun, Randy. I, I, you know what's fun? The DBs had fun. Y'all ain't had no fun. We always had fun. You know what's that fun? I have fun. Have fun dropping them wet suits. That's what y'all have fun with. No, I got a wet suit. Yeah. They knew better than I didn't talk about it. Avery back in coverage. They, they knew better than that. I was going to put Avery back there. Don't throw it to me. <laughs> Don't do that. that. That'd be the worst thing to do, man. I'll be taking everybody wet suits. I'll be so thirsty. I'll break my own. i break the coverage. They, they knew better than even throw it my way. You thirsty. Woo! Baby, don't you do it my way. Wow. She was over here, man. I didn't even hear how they went to the practice. Smooth. Man, I'm just trying to keep the young boys up, man. For real. Yeah, Coach Juice. Yeah. up on these plays. That's what I've been doing. Bro, Coach Juice, he just he took it on a new road. He took the mentor road. Yeah, man. I put on my coaster hat with this with the, today, man. I also yeah. have, I have Coach another, boys up. you know, yeah, man. I have a, another current event that I'm pretty sure everybody knows about and everybody's ready to talk about. So, can I present it? Present your current ahead, event. Bro. Randy dropped his phone and he got the spider crack down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. On the way over here, Randy dropped his phone, man. He did. Like a lame my man. Phone is he wood. dropped his Android. You knew he was going to crack because he had an Android. But he dropped it around. The sound was and, and it was it was face down. We was just we oh. looked at each other. We was like, he's out of here, man. We all just chuckled a little bit. And then when he flipped over his cracked screen, it was hilarious. Like, it's still, he whipped hey, his phone around. Hey, you have a new phone by tomorrow? You know, oh, I have a new phone by tomorrow. He gonna see it. That's the thing about it. No, see, what happened was, he's got a hundred dollars. I got dialed up with phones. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I got dialed up with phones, man. Last, or it was probably last semester. Tell him what happened when he dropped it on your shoe. Oh, my gosh, man. I was just sitting, I was chilling in my room. My phone was on the bed. And he dropped it fell off my bed and fell on my shoe. It just fell on my shoe so softly and landed on the ground. Stop working. They had pillow my on the bed. It landed on the ground so softly. I picked it up and my screen was blank. It was just pure black and nothing was turning on. And I was just like, wow, my phone's whooped. I was so I was so upset. I had phone calls to make. I had stuff to do on my phone. And it was just a bad day for me. He so was whooping at the media. Yeah, because he had the baby media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the baby told me. Yeah, the baby, the baby voice ran me. The whispering. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he, he whoops his phones around all the time. We've been telling him to switch over to the iPhone like he just, just doesn't ever happen. Is there any more current eventual? He's the Android, man. I want to talk about this morning. 
Oh god. It happened to be so <laughs> so yeah, wow. I woke up this morning at six o'clock. So <laughs> he tripped you know, it's right here. Oh my god! You know what I'm saying? I don't wake up that early. Though. It gotta be like five for you. I brush my teeth. You know what I'm saying? Really I throw some this. shorts and I get up out of here. So I run down there to the weight room, and we uh we get in there and we start. You know, we just chilling or whatever. We get to doing our hitting our weights and stuff. We we get on there. We do a uh, hand clean first. Everybody got the hand clean sets. Randy was looking good. You know, he he's supposed to have bad knees, so uh, yes, he's very and, they, and you know what I'm saying? They look so great. No, no, he looked good. He was good. He was talking. Give this great. He was tossing. Yeah, he looked great. He was th- he was hand cleaning so well. And I was like, I was like, you know what I'm saying? Randy's looking strong here. And Avery had the bent back, and I seen him whooping this other round today. And then uh. And then um the so boom, about me. We put the we put the <laughs> oh, we put the we put the, the bar up for our squat set. So boom, we get into our first set. And uh Randy did a two twenty five with his broke knees. <laughs> 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 it's so hurt, man. He saw two twenty five and it, it was hurting his body, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Some of his face was just yeah, so he had the shoulder face, pain. you know what I'm saying? The two twenty five was the worst thing that ever happened to his life. So the next set rolled around and of course Randy Supposedly had to use the bathroom while his set came out. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like my set. Yeah. So, <laughs> we we didn't we didn't you know what I'm saying we didn't trip. We all just did our set. You know what I'm saying we just skipped Randy. And we said he'd be back out. You know what I'm saying maybe he's just you know taking a piss. He'd be right back. So no, boom. Got to the, the so then we get to our third set. Randy still has. He's only did his first set. He has to catch up at that point. So we get to do our third set. And you know the thing about it is I'm like you know Randy's been in there for too long. I need to go check on him. So so I go into the bathroom and you know what I'm saying I see I see you know the bottom of the star Randy's pants are down as if he was using the bathroom like taking a dump early in the morning. So uh so uh boom I'm like so I was just like you know what I'm saying I was about to say something to him. But then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave. You know what I'm saying? But I, I sat there for about 60 seconds, and I watched Randy play around. Kind of weird. Look, let me tell you. I watched Randy play around. Yeah, he's going. He needs that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I watched Randy play around. Yeah, he's going. He needs that right now. Because I was about to turn around and leave. I watched Randy get up. And put his drawers on without wiping. Oh my gosh, man. He's a Did he crush? He didn't crush either. Said, you know, he didn't crush, he didn't wipe. I just was like, what is Randy doing here? What is Randy really doing here? You know what I'm saying? I tried to leave before he could see me. You know what I'm saying? I seen him because he was opening the store door. He didn't wipe, he didn't flush. I didn't hear any toilet paper unravel. He must have used his fingers. So then, oh so I, the thing was, I was like, I'm about to just go ahead and get up out of here or whatever. So I started walking, I started walking out and I still had no flesh or anything. And I was just like, Randy took a fake dump to skip his reps. <laughs> that was it. Randy fell around. He went in there and took a fake dump in the morning to skip his reps around. And I caught him. <laughs> and I asked him about it. He played crazy about it. Like he wiped. He's like, I might not have flushed. Like, you might not have flushed, Randy. You didn't do anything. You didn't wipe. You didn't flush. Wow. Wow. So the real question was, did you wash your hands, Randy? Yes, I washed my hands. He might have washed his hands. Maybe. 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 You guys are out of it, man. Maybe. I'm not going to see him. And then, and then the next question, did he finish his set? Kendall? No! Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We all know Randy didn't finish his sets. He played around with them. I called him, he came back in there and, and had his knees buckling, and Jeff was all saving him around. Jeff was. Young Hefe? Yes, Jeff was just. Jeff he was messing this man up. Shout out to the soccer team. You know Shout what I'm saying? Squad. Yeah. He called, he called Jeff saving the Randy today. He, he, he killed him in his arms. Young Depp. Young Depp. <laughs> <laughs> He, he grabbed him and he gracefully pulled him up and said, Randy, we're going to be okay. <laughs> you know he he, he went the day. And Randy racked his bar around and See, came around with his first set. What happened was my mom was playing tricks on me. I hopped up the bathroom and, and I was getting whipped around by the waist with the squats, man. And it was just a bad day for me as far as squats went. I was whipping the cleans around. Once I got to the squats, it was just over with. And my mom played tricks on me. I thought I did four, but it was actually three and it was a mirage. I saw a mirage out there. It was kind of hot in the weight room. Oh, no, not Did your so body play tricks on you when you thought you had to use the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't, man. Wow, well, I think you got more tricks played on you than you think. Cause I, you tried to play a trick on us. And then let's talk about how the man Avery got caught chilling in the locker room. <laughs> so, so oh, Avery wow. tried to get, you get to talking about some. Yeah, my reps, yeah, let's talk about wow. some man is, is hot in the weight room. <laughs> I'm just gonna go chill. He thought he was gonna chill in the locker room, and I seen the man Hallett follow him in there. <laughs> <laughs> coach Hallett was always my head coach, 
And I was just like, you know, and we sitting right next to the door to the way room, I mean to the locker room. So I'm sitting there like, <laughs> I'm like, hey, he's out of here. And <laughs> Coach Hallett's gonna go in there, he's gonna whip him around. And I seen Coach Hallett come out with the steam face, and I seen Avery come out and act like nothing happened. He tried to play off. He tried to play off. He tried to play off. He didn't get whipped around. But I looked over and I and I, I asked him later on today uh, at breakfast, like what happened with Hallett. I know he said something to you. I told him. And then he told me that Coach Hallett came in there, caught me in there chilling. What did he say? What did he say? He <laughs> was chilling. Yeah, like, he was chilling, man. Room. I was high. I was trying to get a breather. Just finished my sets. I finished my sets. No, it's out of here. And I was done. And he was all like, yeah, 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 man. This is just not a locker room. Man. We just don't need you to be in here because if, because if something comes up missing, <laughs> then um, we don't need all that bad publicity to be on the football team. This is just, it's just not a locker room, man. I'm like, he whipped you around. No, then I, I heard. I hit with the, no. I hit with the soft. Yes, sir. I got a mind. I don't need you to do that, man. I saw you and you had your head down, man. You had to walk the shame. You had to walk the shame. You made that. You, all you tried to do was just go in the locker room and do whatever you wanted to do. You wanted to be the chill master in there. You wanted to be the chill master. master. Was I? Was I chill master? Randy was the chill master too. No, no, no. See, 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 oh, wow. see. Now, if y'all, if y'all listening from home. I want y'all to notice how Rain just tried to flip all the heat and put it on me. I didn't try to flip it. Rain just tried to do it. He, 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 he just tried to do that. <laughs> See, he tried to take the short break to the locker room. It, was it like, wasn't a break. I was second, done. I was done my second leg. walk. This is what I'm saying. And you had to take the walk of shame. You had to walk around the entire weight room. I don't even know where you went. You walked out of the weight room at that point. He embarrassed you. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what you doing? I don't know what that is. I don't even know where this letter is. I didn't even see it. I went to Sideline to get something to drink. <laughs> yeah, I went to so you didn't see Coach Hallett steal his manhood? No, I didn't, I didn't see it. He came out with the walk of shame. Put we had a walk of shame in the weight room where we were already at. I don't even know why you disappeared. See, okay, so Randy, since you asked me questions. He went in the back on the basketball in his face. Can I ask you? Can I ask you? Since you asked the questions, Randy, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question, Randy? Splash the word for his face. Came back out. Is it funny? Yeah. I'm glad it's funny. No, 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 no. I'm talking to Randy. I'm, I'm glad it's funny. It is funny, B. Oh, we're going to talk about how, well, you know, you thought you got away with it. And then we came to breakfast. Yeah, I was Can you tell the story about how you sat up here and you didn't flush and didn't wipe your butt? It yes. is, man. <laughs> you, you, you got up out there. What made it so much worse is that you didn't finish your sets. You didn't, oh you didn't do it. Did you ever get me work in the day in the weight room? I got a lot of work in the day, man. It was a good day for me. I missed out on my one set. So I how, made up who, for it. And we went to the, the we got auxiliary list. No, no. It was one set. set. You I did three sets. No, no, you no, did. No, no, no. My third set was for telling. <laughs> 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 I tried my best, my third set. Oh, my yeah, like I said, Jeff was the savior. But I tried my best. Everybody just said that your, per your knees look so perfect, man. Up until just, squats, man. It's a whole different exercise. Yeah, I see. It was terrible. Do you remember how Randy had the little base, the little, the little kid base? Yeah, he did. He was squat. He was squat. He was a little boy. 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 He was and I just looked over and caught him playing around. And I seen Jeff letting him play around. And I was just like, you know what, Jeff? You got to tell that man to stop playing around with you. That's funny, man. And I caught him yeah. playing so today, much. Today was overall a funny game. Yeah. Today was a funny Other than that, um, we, when we come back, we um, we have some, you know, like, uh, what was it? Oh, current events. Yes, yeah, current events. Yeah, we got some current events. Yeah, Besides, it's just, you know, we're going to take over Kendall's little segment. Everybody has current events today. Yeah. Not just him. So, yeah, you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy that. Because some people have some off the wall current events like you would never even imagine yeah, you exactly. hear about this is true you know so we're gonna play some music and then yeah, we'll man. be back coming into this next song just keep in mind that Avery has 419 tattoo on his back wow we'll be back uh, Randy will never be in an order <laughs> And while me walk through, I asked you last show, man. When the album dropping, man? Not yet, man. I'm gonna drop it like Beyonce, bro. Y'all don't worry, y'all gonna know, but y'all, but I'm gonna make y'all sign something so y'all don't know. Is it gonna break out? Too? I just wanna know yeah. when the album dropping, man. When I drop it, bro, like, am I gonna get it first? Me first one to get it? Yeah, I get an order. Y'all gonna have it as long as y'all don't leak my stuff. Sign the cover. If y'all leak it, then we don't have a problem. But I'm gonna make y'all sign some. Y'all gonna be featured. I'm gonna make y'all sign some so y'all don't know what song it's always somebody out of the camp that leak it too, man. Yeah, yeah always somebody. But I can barely do it. Man. As long as it's not my camp. Yep. You know, leak, leak, yo. As long as Kendall doesn't get excited, want to leak my stuff, man. I just. 
Yeah, they do it. Y'all fool it, man. I mean, but I'm saying like, y'all gonna have a feature, but y'all gonna sign a little mm -hmm. paper because y'all not gonna know what song y'all doing. Y'all gotta agree to not go sing the song out nowhere and tell somebody about your song that y'all on. You know, it's gonna be real crazy. You can't never leak the material. You just can't do it, man. Y'all fool it, man. I'm just not man enough to sit up here and be a little Wayne and, and give y'all the whole thing for free as a mixtape and make another album. Can't do it. We ain't got lots of bars. Yeah, like some boys. Alright, but we about to go ahead and get into these current events we had. Current three. Um, I can I can start off actually. Okay. I know you want to. Yeah. Alright. So um. The current event, man. Today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today we uh, I'm I'm gonna talk about uh that the shooting that happened in Cleveland. It was uh late 2012, I believe, like uh, around November. I think I I can't really remember uh, the exact date, but um. It was about uh, there. There was officers. They uh, they uh, shot up. Uh, there was uh, two people in the car, um, and the officers they they chased them in the pursuit and it was said that the people had a a gun in the car and they they shot. It was like 147 rounds into the car for the two people uh, in Cleveland, uh, down by uh, Shaw High School. Uh, it happened right over by like in front of Shaw High School, and uh, they they fired 147 rounds into the car. Wow! And uh, for the two people that they said were armed, and uh, and they stood, and there was actually an officer who stood on on top of the um, who stood on top of the car and shot into it from the hood. So yeah. you're like he's like standing on top standing and on shooting top into the windshield. Your, your car is shooting. Shoot, no, he, he started from the trunk and shot through the back, and then walked up the car. And shot through the, What's the, point the of hood. That's you crazy. said they, they were unarmed too. They were they were said to have a gun on the radio, but they searched the car and there was no guns in there. They were too uh they were just too that like, many drug shots addicts. Though, man. They was uh, like they said they was all, the two people in the car. Is were this it? Is this the one that you retweeted about? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was really at the point. Anything that about the kill after that? Like, yeah. yeah. So that's crazy. the thing is, do you need 147 rounds to? They said it was like I forget. Uh, I think they said it was like uh. Six or seven so officers just, that he shot. He was just dumping. They was all. They was all said one one officer used like three clips. Um, uh, yeah, they, they was uh the one officer used three clips. Another one used like two and a half. Yeah, what? It was uh, other ones. Not even getting fired at back. So it's like, what, what are you shooting at? They. All right, see now this is the thing. They went on the trial. They went on the trial day and they brought. <gasps> Oh, they brought one officer to charge day. Why one? I'm not sure, but it was the one guy who walked up the back of the car and shot into the hood. So he went to trial today, and he said, you know, you know, he did a lot of lying, and they was catching him in his lies. Uh, the first one, he said that he thought that they were shooting back, and uh, basically he tried to blame it on his fellow cops shooting that he couldn't tell whether they were shooting back or not because his cops were. Uh, were next to him shooting too, so he said his oh, phone was ringing and he couldn't. This he, is this dude. I was in, but dude, I was in Twitter there, and I'm not looking looking like related topics to the shooting. Do you do you do you see this? The white cops sued the city of Cleveland for racial discrimination over harsh treatment. Wow, no, nah, I wasn't aware. Shut of that. Up. They uh, wow. They, um, uh, and, and uh, on the side of the the family of the two victims, uh, the family got 1.5 million dollars, I think, in uh restitution for the. For the killing of the unlawful killing of the um, the family, so um, but that's you know I'm gonna get back to what I was talking about. So after after the um, he uh he went to trial or whatever for the the offense that he did, and he was saying that he couldn't tell about the gunfire because his fellow cops were shooting next to him and they were all firing into the car and um and that uh his and they he pulled his car up to to the nose of their car and hopped out and then shot them. And that's why they brought him to court first because he jumped onto the car. And basically, they were saying that um, he was saying that uh, he felt like he was back in Iraq again. It was target practice at that point, man. Yeah, yeah. shooting at somebody that's not doing anything back there, obviously dead. It's just target practice. Yeah, no, way no, they they weren't dead until they say he took the fatal shots from the top. He took no, those were the fatal those shots. Those were the fatal so shots. Top of the hood. Everybody was just missing. Everybody was with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, shots, I, I didn't know that somebody wasn't dead until, like, unless you were sitting in the car with them, like, you know what I'm saying, watching them not be dead. You know what I'm saying? But that, they, the the experts said that they weren't dead and that that guy took the fatal shots from the top of the hood. And he said that it felt like he was in, in Iraq again. And uh, 
and he lost control, like he mad control of the situation. Basically, no, that's what. So what is he saying? He's he saying he insanity or, or he tried to, the, right? but he tried to, he tried to flip it. Was this one, was this one like an unarmed couple? They were unarmed couple. Yes. Okay. So, and, so the one cop said that he doesn't even remember shooting fifteen slugs into him. Yes, and he and he was drawing blanks. Is what he said. He said he was drawing blanks on something. Yeah, critical he moments of of the trial. He said he didn't remember what was happening. But he said he felt like he was in Iraq again. The prosecutor tried to say, like, did you feel like, you know, you were happy, like, you, you got trigger happy because of you being in Iraq. And he said that Iraq. he felt like he was protecting his, his fellows from the two people in the car. And then, and he just kept firing because he didn't want anybody to get hurt. And he Iraq, like they Iraq hurt. man. That's, that sentence, that statement right there just shows me that your head isn't in the right place. Because that's... A whole different world. You but don't need it. You don't, right. You don't. Yeah, you're out on the street. It's a whole different being a, a street cop and you're out here dealing with civilians. You're not dealing with an enemy. You feel me? It's just like you got your head in a whole other place, man. Like If your head's in that place, then you don't need to be a cop. Yeah. And then there was That's evidence crazy. showing that, the, that the, there was a man driving and the girl was in the passenger seat. And it was said that, that her car had, a, had a, a lock on it. So she couldn't get out the car even if she wanted to, but who would want to hop out of a racing car anyways? Right. But they, it was said that her car had a lock on the shift. She couldn't get out if she wanted to, and that she was sitting in the car with her hands up when they stopped in front of Shaw High School, but they still open fired on them. You know what I'm saying? And it's things like this that happen. That's in Cleveland. Oh, you're Shaw catching High flashbacks. It's, it's what, 15 oh, minutes from my house. You know what I'm saying? Like, this this stuff, this not on the other side of the world. This is here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's like... You know, to see stuff like that and the, the police and the type of power they have is ridiculous. And and I can't wait to get the outcome of this trial. It's uh it's ongoing. They uh they rested till tomorrow. But it's it's ongoing trial that just started this morning. And I wanna see what they will do with that officer and the other six, you know what I'm saying? They didn't bring the other six to trial today. They just brought the guy who took the fatal shots as they say, um, uh, to trial today. And he was acting like he didn't know what was going on. Like he it was he was oblivious to what was happening and he lost control or something. He just, you know what I'm saying? He tried to, he's playing crazy about the whole That's situation. That's what it sounds like, man. I was ranting on Twitter a long time ago about it, man. But my thing was, they need to stop using guns. They need to stop having guns as the primary use of force. I feel like they, that's their go-to weapon. If, if danger's near, they're reaching for that holster on top. They're not reaching for a taser. They're not reaching for pepper spray. All the other tools that they have, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather get Billy Club than shot. And you feel me? Yeah. Any day. Any day. So you got other tools that you're in your arsenal rather than reaching for that gun every time and shooting somebody mostly or most of the time is going to be dead or shooting to aim and kill because they people aren't ending up, you know what I'm saying, with leg wounds or anything like that just to stabilize them. They're getting four, 147 shots. And then the thing about it is the nightstick they be using them hurt too. They break bones. So it's like, it's not like shit. <laughs> They can still hurt you, so it's, it's not like, it's not like they, they need the gun all the time, you feel me? You're going to lose either way. Exactly. It is a either way, but I'd rather have it. Uh, I, can't, I can't recover from something like that. And, you know, I ain't no recovering from, from no gunshot wound. Right, and see, basically, the, uh, uh, the guy, his name, uh, his, name, his name was Michael Brillo. The officer Michael Brillo. That's what I was trying to find. Yeah, he, uh, he was trying to, he was basically trying to justify by saying, like, uh, he didn't he didn't do this because of him being happy or trigger happy at the fact that he was in Iraq or he didn't do it because he wanted to be a bad boy I don't want man, I don't, man I just don't want this dude to get off on a plea of insanity what that did he say it was he said he said that and he didn't do it because that's of his, his only bad. option at this point to go to right, but I'm saying I don't want him to get off on that because that's just yeah, yeah I mean it's still not right either way so and, I mean, yeah. and, and he said he didn't do it because of the color of this, their skin but he did it because he was worried for the lives of others. That was his, uh... What? Other, that was... Right? It's 200,000 out there. I don't you know, know how many cops it was, but y'all had them outnumbered, I guarantee. Yeah, the, and he, he did It wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're, not, worried about, about hurt. you're, you're not worried about citizens, because they're, they're like... That's what I'm they saying. They were trapped. Like, they couldn't even drive anymore. Where they went, they, they, there was no outpoint, so they knew that they were boxed in. Like, they couldn't go anywhere. Was it on, like, a dead end? It was, like, it was like a dead end. Like, the, the cops so, knew right, so They had them surrounded. It was a dead end. So you got, you got Sean right here, then you got the gas station over there, uh, right across the street. And then you got... It's like, a little, yeah, okay. like a little side with yeah. the dead end. Okay. And the was he on the side? Like, this was Sean, but was he on the side by, like, the actual school? Was he over there by, like, the football field side? I'm not sure exactly about the back part. But they they said um that they were trapped in and that the police surrounded him, surrounded the, the car 
and then open fire without seeing anybody move. Like they didn't open a car door to get out and run. They didn't do anything, but they open fired on them. And it's just another example of police brutality. Exactly. And Excessive that's, force, man. That's ridiculous. Man. Excessive force. That's what it comes down to with me, man. That's they got a lot of power, man. You get that badge, nobody can't tell you nothing at all. And, and that's ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? The, the police got too much power nowadays, you know what I'm saying? And there's stuff like this, you know what I'm saying? It's not the only thing that's happened in Cleveland. You, know, you, got, the, uh, like you got the little kid, the 10 year old who got shot. Yeah, that was bad. Tamir, you know, Tamir Rice? Yeah, Tamir Rice, you got, you got him who, who was shot for having what about a, the little girl, a toy gun. What about the little girl that was shot in front of Glenville? What about this, just that shooting period? I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on in Cleveland, but. That has to do with a lot of guns and shooting, period. Like, it's always somebody getting shot in Cleveland. And that's the thing, yeah, though, man. This, is area. this is close to home, you know what I'm saying? So we referring back to the Cleveland area. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is happening in all major cities across the country. That's what it's coming down to, man. This is, this is no good. Exactly. Well, but we can't even say this is, this is, this is close to home because it is home. Yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's yeah, a reality. Right. The place we're talking about, we can go to right now. Well, not right now, but if we get home, we can go right there. I ain't trying to make you trip hearing all that news. All that news. Well, that was that was my uh, you know, yeah, current event for the day about yeah. all that trials going on. I'll tell you the outcome about it if I if it's uh, solved by Wednesday about how they uh you know Probably what not. they did about this guy and his fellow officers that that openly fired on the unarmed couple. So I will let y'all know about that. Most oh, definitely. But um, you know, while we on this topic of you know, uh, oh, you, just, you know, just racial situations. Oh, and all you that. just took the reins and ran with it, huh? I, I mean, how you know Randy didn't want to go next? I, I, I want to go next, dude. I'm just like, playing. You played around, man. You you <laughs> ain't tried to mic your way. But, well, I was I was because me get up share mic. We have an understanding. There's no snatch of mics over there like it is. Y'all got the powerful mic, so I mean, man, 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 no problem on that side yeah, of the room. Exactly. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, man. I pulled up another article on. You know, the, I'm not sure if y'all know, but um, the Duke at, at Duke University, they found a noose in the, you know, in the middle of their campus, like the campus center, and um, they said it, it brought a lot of controversy, like to the student body as a whole. Like it wasn't even just with, you know, the the black students or you know the, it, it was you know it was a wide variety of everybody. You know, yeah, yeah, everybody, everybody felt some type of way about it. And it, it I mean, it just it just kind of showed that you know, even today. At some of the most prestigious universities, and you know, Duke is a real, you know, they in the final four. So I mean, you know, they got a lot of a, a national detention right now. But you know, it just shows that I mean, you know, people do stupid stuff, and it's like I mean, and it's still race racism still exists. Like they said, they found a student who who did it, but I mean, because of you know controversy, I mean, confidence. Yeah, they found a student. Yeah, yeah, they found a student who did it. They said um, they're not gonna release. Yeah, they're not, they're they're not, not released. Release. They, they said they're yeah. not releasing. They're, they're not releasing, releasing his name, releasing you know, name. because of, you know the Safety. university trying to you know keep him safe and Safety reasons. Yeah, you know all well, that. Well, he's probably gonna get whooped though. Yeah, definitely get whooped around. So it was like it was just like tied around a tree or something. It just was like a little. Yeah, they said it was um. Oh, oh my like God. A, a yellowish noose. Yeah, yellow rope. Yeah, yellow rope hanging from the tree. The picture the is so there. perfect, bro. Yeah, yellow noose uh, hanging from a tree, and uh, it looked like I yeah, the, com- the university the comments. comments, which yeah. would be the middle, the middle of the middle campus, the middle of the campus, where everybody could see it. So I mean, they, they he, he could, whoever the student was, I. I we clearly don't know, but I mean, they Ooh, was man, clearly the trying to make a point. And it was found at like 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, there. Two, yeah, in a uh, 2 a.m. I don't got time. 2 a.m. Wednesday morning. Do you know how does it? How would you think it feel to be like an African American student going there and you see something like that? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But I'm saying, I mean, yeah, I mean, we all probably would know how I feel because of the fact that that's why they're not even releasing his name. Your probably your first thought is probably he needs to get punched and I'm gonna be the one to do it. Every <laughs> love punching people. Every guy's love punching, man. That might be that's his favorite. <laughs> that's his favorite, man. Y'all saying y'all wouldn't go punch this that's dude? A, yeah, that's his go to. He does it, yeah. That is my go to. <laughs> when, 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 when I'm back in the corner and I'm playing against somebody gotta get punched. <laughs> <laughs> somebody gotta get punched, man. You know, I wonder what type of this very actions they gonna um, take towards uh, this guy for for what he did. You know? I honestly don't know, school. man. I, I hope he gets kicked out of school. Well, whoever it is get kicked out of school, but you know, I mean, just looking in there more. But my question is, to you know, like, I don't have that much on it. My question is to like these, these like these like people who do this is why? 
What was your point? That's how they really feel, man. You can't blame anybody, dude. It, it gotta be like it a gotta be that, Because nobody is gonna just go alone and say, "I'm just gonna hang the noose out tonight." He had to been this had to been playing with somebody. He had to like been a dare or something, or or maybe somebody. It's always another person. They never, yeah, they, they never that brave. They, they, they never that brave to go out there and do it themselves. It's always another person, man. So there should be more people that should, that, that should be. You know, he should be interrogated. To their where there should be, he should be able to tell that there was more people who was involved in this because I know there was. It always stems from somebody trying to make a joke out of something, man. That's it gotta be. Like it from. You know what I'm saying? All the racist stuff, funny, bro. It's like it's like both of us are true feelings. We yeah. you know, like man, it's not all for jokes, man. When you come here for comedy, you have a hidden agenda behind it, and you just expressed it. That's why you're probably getting kicked out of school. So it's over with. So. Exactly, about, and he needs, and they all need to get kicked out of school. For that. But what's enough? Like, okay, so we talking about kicking, like, like kicking them out of school and all that, man. But you know, like, I want to know, like, what's enough? Like, is is it just kicking them out of school enough? Because like, it was like, the, like the dudes at Oklahoma University. Criminal charges? Is that what you said? I, I thought it got to be. Look at that charge. Hey, yeah, it's not I don't know. Like, 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 just like, but hate crimes, like, hate crime. You got to think about hate crimes. That's you, gotta, like, you still got to do something. Yeah, you got to actually yeah. commit a crime. And it got to be, yeah, like, and it got to be, and, and, yeah, and it got to be motivated for yeah, like racial right. and stuff like that. But I'm saying that even like, like, even like, like when they find people who hung the dude in Mississippi, they still couldn't even charge him with hate crime because they they just like to stay away from hate crime nowadays because they just don't even want to be like, okay, they can't. I mean, honestly, if he, honestly, if he went to trial for that, I think he would be able to hide behind, you know. Freedom of speech, or so you know, some crazy like that to still get off. So I mean, it. I... <laughs> <laughs> that might be a man. Couldn't even finish his statement, man. I, I, mean, I just sit up here. Hot, man. I just sit up here and I write a paper about black equality yeah. and just black empowerment, bro. And this, and this, you know, like, like when I hear stuff like this, I think the justice system is just not enough, in my opinion. Not enough. It's not. It's, it's just really not because exactly. let's, cause let's be honest here, what's going to happen is, you know, even if they do get convicted, they're going to go to jail. And even if more so, even if they do get beat up by the black community in jail, they still going to find some buddies that probably feel the same way they do. And everything be cool then. What's enough? And then they'll probably be out later on in, in a couple of years. And when they come out. And they probably still be doing the same thing they've been doing then. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed at all. So what's, so, dude, the justice system is just not enough for me. They got to get whooped. They got to get punched. They gotta get punk. Go ahead and yeah, say that, right? man. We don't need wow. anymore. We don't need to send anybody else to jail. We just need to send them to Abe, and everybody can just get punched. No, yeah. no, hold on. Yeah, no, 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 no. no, no. no, no. If they gonna send them just get punched by Abe. No, no, no. If they gonna send them all, there's no more timeouts. No, no. no. To you and Dawu. No, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. If they gonna send them all, if they gonna send them all to me, I need my own personal army. So if the government is going to sit up here and, they, and they're going to appoint my personal army as my chief justices and my whatever else they want to call it, then I'll take Dawu, I'll take Kyle, and I'll take him. That's all I need. That's all I need. That's all I ever need. And y'all poor, wow. man. I mean, that, that type of stuff right there, man. That, that, you know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. It makes me upset to even think about that. You know what I'm saying? You can't even walk around campus without, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I do, man. It don't matter. Something like that happen here. I'd be boycotting. I'll be I'll be doing everything I can. So you think so if the basketball team get ready to play tonight, you think they should do something about it? Yep. Make boycott. a statement. Boycott. Especially especially all they have okay, let's be honest. All the all the media oh, players they're gonna have today, yeah. they, something needs to be done. Let's be honest. And I know y'all know about that. Y'all gonna watch the game tonight. But how many but I'm saying like, okay, well yeah. Yeah. And let's be honest, like how many black players do they really have? On Duke? Yeah, on Duke, like how many like how many black players do they have? They have Let's be honest, they have a lot. Yeah, they do. So therefore, if they gonna sit out, then I'll be able to go that far. But I feel like they will. Like why not? You know but, I mean, you said it won't go that far, and then the question still remains of why not? Cause man, it's the what is it? I, 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 was, I would, I would like that though. The national championship. I'm just, I, I'm, yeah. just I, I'm just asking. But I would question. like that though. Why not? Is that is that not fair? No, but you said that it's the national championship, so that's why it won't sit out. Because but if they do, would that not be a bigger statement? You know why? I, okay, I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't take it as far as sitting out, do becoming in, loops. no, 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 becoming out, making a statement on some like, you know how, kind of how the Clippers did. No, 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 you know how the Clippers did. How the Clippers did with the Donald Sterling situation, and they came and th they threw all the warm ups in the, in the middle of the floor, and they, you know, they was rocking everything inside out. You know, I think they could do something like yeah, that. Yeah, but, but that, but that wasn't everything else that had to do with that. 
I mean, yeah, yeah, it's black. Because that's not even as far as I mean, but it eventually progressed to where all the African American players on the Clippers said they're not going to play again another game. Right. He's still the owner. Yeah. And that's where that's when they switched and fired him. Did anything else that Chris Paul could play? Exactly. They're not going to let him sit out, man. They got Coach K there, the stand-up guy. He's going to give a big statement about it prior to the game, probably post-game about it too. The players are going to have their stances on it, and they're just going to move on. So let me ask you Because it's like after they win, it's, the it's, it's always I one bad apple that that spoils it for everybody. This is like you said, everybody was riled up about it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody right. in the campus felt like terrible. Like wow, somebody will actually do that. What an idiot! You know what I mean? Like this is how the campus no, feels as a whole. Students, students are all this is how the family. student body felt. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we can't sit here and take it out on like. We just can't take it out on the whole campus, you know what I'm saying? Everybody work hard, everybody wants to see them do well, and then just draw back just because somebody wants to be an idiot on campus. Well, still, All right, well, let me ask you a question. They can't go north. All right. They can't. They gotta, they gotta, yeah. they gotta they can't speak go on north. They, they have to. Go ahead and say you got a second, Bill. Yeah, uh, so I got a question. All right, so you know, going to Duke, that's a, that's a basketball school predominantly. And you are no, a they, basketball player. Football team pretty good too. They always got. That would be a crazy team. Team. Hey, team. Team. Hey, team. Okay. crazy team. Crazy team. No, they always go to the ACC championship and they always lose to Florida State. Dude, the football team is. Oh, okay. Dude, they always they always lose. Okay, off subject. Off subject. This is relevant, Avery. I said things about it. Did I just say off subject? No. We're talking. Right. They're a predominant basketball team. Like I said, the predominant basketball. And and. If you know, you know what I'm saying, you got to be a good player to get picked up by Duke to get scouted by them. So let's say you get to that school and something like this happens before your championship game. Would, would you like boycott to not play or would you actually do it to, you know, get that national championship ring? Would it, would it be mad? Which would matter to you more? Like, do you feel like you would actually like, you know what I'm saying? I would like, say, I would say, I would, would definitely want to play and get the ring because, I mean, that's what I work it. That's what I work so hard for. But at the same time, I, I wouldn't forget. You know, because like that, that that's that's still that's still ha- like it matters. You know what I'm saying? So I was I would do some. You know, even like I would try to get my team on it. You know, we all or at least the black players. You know, we all do something to symbolize that. You know, we we know we, about we it. Like, we aware, it. right? We so we we acknowledge it like something they can do before the game or, I mean, you know, whatever. But you did, but, but you did, but you did work hard. But in my opinion, I would still play. But but like you should say, he doesn't want to go unnoticed. Therefore. In my opinion, too, I wouldn't want it to just die down in like the regular yeah, way. You know, yeah. like you know, 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 you I feel like me though, you know what I'm saying. What is he doing? I would want to do something, you know what I'm saying, more drastic. I want people to understand, you know, that we got the pain. And, yeah, um, we be going through something of, uh, of the, you know what I'm saying, the people who actually care about that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I so like you wouldn't want to get ignored. I wouldn't want it to get ignored. Exactly. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want it to be downplayed. You I know agree. What I'm saying? I agree. I would. I would care about that more than I would the game. I agree. You know what I'm saying? saying? This is the school you go to. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how many years they're going to do that. They might be going to the NBA or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? You go to this school, you know what I'm saying? And it's not just only about yourself. It's about the other black people that go to that school, too. And you know it's not just saying? about the sport, either. Exactly. It's, it's not just about the people that go to that school. People that, that have to do four years there and then grad school. You know what I'm saying? It's people about it's the, it's the people that walk around there every day. That The regular people, too. You know what I'm saying? It's not just hoopers or football players. You know what I'm saying? The people who, go, who just go to that school because they liked it. You know what right. I'm saying? Those people who get undermined because of doing things like this. You know what I'm okay. saying? So, real quick, just around the room one time, would y'all sit out? Duke University basketball player, you know what I'm saying? Don't matter I'll, your role on the team, would you sit out? I would sit out. I'd probably sit out. I would have sat out last game. Last game. I would sign out. Dude, the news broke last yeah, year. rather yeah, rather it be national championship or not, I'll sit out because of the fact that do we do we really want this to sit up here and die? I feel like what world? is that? What does that do though? Like what does it do? Who is it? I mean, I know, I know. Uh, as far as like we're not letting it go, making a statement, right? Look, but, like, like, who, is it, who, who is it affecting? I'll say like this. Playing. I'll say like this. It only takes one. It always only takes one person. And if you see, look, you got more popularity and you got more pull because you are a basketball player. You are playing for Duke. So if you don't do something, then what else is that going to spark? It's going to spark the tension around 
Mr. Media. Among you're, not, the you're, not just, you're not just like a, a Heidelberg basketball player doing this. You're a Duke basketball player. And the national champion is a big statement. But I'm saying, what is you not playing? What, regardless, the dude's going to get punished with the news. The one, the one bat, the rotten egg that wanted to be an idiot on campus. You know what I mean? With all the midst of everything going on, good for Duke. He wants to be a dummy. Mm -hmm. But you, what is you sitting out got to do with him? He's still going to get punished. He's still going to get the same punishment. And everybody's going to, let's be honest, everybody's going to move on. This is a, a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Sure, we have a, somebody being an idiot on a prestigious campus, but nobody died. And everything's okay. Everybody's okay. Everybody's so, just like, so just like when... Um just like when Riley King got beat up. Just like when these people just got dumped on. Just like when the little girl got shot in front of um, uh, Glenville. Just like all the other things that happen in this society that has to do with black people. It has nothing to do with you, but you still make it your business. How do you? How do you? Right. So you saying it's okay because nothing happened to that point. Mm. What about? What about? You know they found the news at it said two a.m. What if they planned on hanging somebody at four a.m.? You know what I'm saying? Sixteen back in what was that? Oh yeah. six, I think. Oh, yes. Seven? Yeah, y'all yeah, remember that. It yeah, still, it still had nothing. It still yeah. literally, virtually had nothing to do with you, but you still cared about it. Okay, you got, you got to care. You got to give a statement. But I'm saying, as far as you not playing that game, you work hard up to this point. I'm just speaking from a different pers pers perspective. Okay. You feel that, me? Okay. You worked your whole life up to this yeah, point. I think you're talking about your game. The way, you feel the way, like the way you were saying it was like personal opinion. Nah, yeah, nah, so nah. That's, that's the way. That's the way you were saying it. So nah. if it's not that, then please let us know. Yeah. Because those turn never ways. Listen, what I was saying. I was just coming, coming from different angle because we like to have different angles mm -hmm. in the show. So I was saying from that athlete's okay. perspective, worked his whole life up to this point. Okay. He committed. I'm saying it was all the dream to play in this national championship game. Why would I give it up because somebody going to be a dumb well, back then, on campus? Well, then you know what? You just you you you, you literally asked him a question such as this. Simple. You know, like you know, like how we always ask each other, like, what do you really matter? What are you sorry about? You know, what are we really talking about? Here? You ask him what really matters in life. You know what? You know we we not hitting to here, him. huh? You ask him like, what really matters in life to you? This is this. That's right. But what I'm saying is, you know, we missing here though, because this is because man, that's a team sport. So I, at the end of the day, they all gonna have to come together as a team and figure out what they gonna have to do as a right. whole. You know, it's not it's not so much about you know the, each individual player. Nobody's gonna be able to Because at the end of the day, yeah, it's, it's gonna be it's all about them. Yeah. But still, so they will have to come together to make a collective still, decision. But still, you would have a different outlook on your team if your team would not respect your decision to sit out because of something like this would happen. Right. You said like you see what I'm saying? Exactly. Or if they would, they wouldn't come with you to help you do something like delay the game or something, something to, yeah. to, to you know what I'm saying, to spark attention. You know what I'm saying? Something to get, like, something oh, to get the media because if you got the media on your back, back, then then you got you got the world. Yeah, like, yeah, I feel it's yeah, like, it's you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, team decision. People, everybody's gonna watch this national championship game today, and just like people, you know what I'm saying? They look at that stuff like Ezekiel Elliott with the crop top. You know, people start doing that after it's a trend. It's a trend. Somebody start talking about something. Yeah, something. Yeah, and they just start thinking like they're making You know what I'm saying? People, right. people like that's big sports players and stuff. It turns into a trend and it and it sparks. You know what I'm saying? People who look so at you. So they were saying, okay, so if it was like one of like they one of like big players. Yeah. For example, if he sat out that game on uh, the uh, national championship, Okafor. they would if Okafor sat out, okay. they would go and maybe and what the first question like the whole media would ask. Why? Why didn't Open for play? He's your star Why? Player. And why? then, and then they will find out why, and then, and then what happened from there? And it, then, it was like the whole, it was like the whole black train, right. and not just in that arena, but around. I mean, for the people who were in that arena and saw him sit out, but for the people who were back on Duke's campus, it would hit them too. They would hit every other HBCU, and they would hit every other black person at every other school that's hitting us right and, now. And they're gonna, yeah. and more people gonna the train. More people gonna respect him for that. You know what I'm saying? Then you got to think about the little kids who look up to people like that. They going they gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? He wants racial equality, and I look up to that man, so maybe I want racial equality, whether they're black, white, or you know what I'm saying, whatever. And I would see it as, there. and I would see it as, wow, this you no, know, the you know the game of basketball is not just you know the only thing that matters to this man. He cares about life. Exactly. He cares about what happens with his life. Cause you know, let, you know, let's be honest, we all probably not gonna make the league. And we all, I mean, oh, Okafor probably will. He's, cool. he's going to leave. But I'm talking about yeah. for, like, for, like the, for like the other people. You can't just sit up here and care about your life. Just like when you're trying to decide where you want to go to school at. Right. It's not just about the sport. It's about the campus, period. Right. So I'm saying, like, you know, you have to you have to care about your life, too. Exactly. And if you want to sit up here and you want to ignore this, then it'd be like, okay, well, so where did your dignity lie? Where is your self-respect for yourself? So if somebody come up to you and call you uh, I'm a racial slur, but it doesn't matter, can... Can um can your coach call you 
Um, if Coach K was to call over for a racial slur, it doesn't matter, but they have a national championship game, so he's not going to sit out. Yeah, you like the coach from Rutgers. Yeah, like, have like Rutgers, whooping yeah, everybody and doing stuff like that. Kicking yeah, the question is, heads but what, yeah, right. but what I'm trying to say I'm is, up, but what I'm trying to say is, what would put my hands on that man. man. <laughs> Where's the, where's the, where's that's the, that's all, that's all topic. That coach, that's man. all topic. Yeah, they are. We're going to just go ahead and go into some music right now, and then get back into the rest of the topics, because hey, these guys are Hey, on this, on these topics real quick, though, uh, four one nine four four eight twenty two hundred. They don't care about these topics. They care about the silly. Ones. No, I don't say that, man. They don't call that. I got faith in you. I might, mean, I might get up here and talk about girlfriends. Oh right? man, I got. Oh, <laughs> 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 you know we're coming back, man. You know what I'm saying? Birds and the bees. What's up, everybody? Y'all tuned in to the Birds and the Bees live from Heidelberg University on WHEI eighty eight point nine. Yeah. 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 Taking eight reasons. Yeah. still talking. Wow. It's about time, man. <laughs> he ain't give no warning to nothing. Hey, yeah. hey, don't worry, your mic wasn't even on. <laughs> wow, <laughs> man. Y'all do it so <laughs> dirty over here, man. Hey, y'all playing around, y'all yeah. whispering anyway, so <laughs> we might as well do so all the favor and let y'all talk in our mics. <laughs> y'all annoying. That's what we used to do a long time ago. Anyways, uh, Avery's going to uh, get into one of uh, to his uh, topic. Current event. Current event. So, um, apparently, um, it was actually made about yes, yesterday, um, it was a, it was a coach for a rec league team and it was like, the eight, it was like a 14 through 16 age group, um, and he was going against another team, uh, his team was leading one and a half and he was happy. And then afterwards they came out, the other team started to mount a comeback and he started getting upset. So the one coach starts to argue with another fan on the other sideline. So then it gets worse because the coach proceeds to march down the sideline, walk down the baseline, and walk to the other sideline where the other coach was. Then he, then he proceeds to argue with the fan again because he was, I guess he was a little bit closer. He was throwing out a lot of racial slurs to the black man. They were both black, so it really didn't make sense. Um, and then eventually the other coach stepped in and then after that, um, the other coach got frustrated, and he pulled out a gun and started shooting at the rec center. Oh, we got real. He shot. <laughs> <laughs> he shot the gun inside the rec center with the little kids there. No regards uh, to he anything. He just started dumping. No regard for human life out there trying to take off heads and the, at the rec center. And the lieutenant yeah, and the and the lieutenant for the police force out there said um, it was a it was a true act of God that he didn't hit anybody. And I said, well, no, he probably just didn't have any aim. Just he, can't shoot, man. He was just dumping. Just, he was dumping on everybody. Jay Reed. Jay Reed. Jay Reed. You were the cop, Jay Reed. How, how silly you got to be as somebody to actually like to, to, to shoot inside a, a place? It's not like you can get away after. This is over. This is over. This is a rec league game. This is a rec league this, We ain't talking about AAU. We talking about a rec league game. We talking about a lot of testosterone, a lot of men built up. You know, kid, kids' uh -huh. parents get real hype. This is a coach here. I mean, the coach. I'm talking about. I'm talking about just the atmosphere in general, man. You know how it is. No, but they said that. No, but no, but no, no, but they said the other coach wasn't even hype. They said the other coach was trying to was trying to calm down the fan and the other coach arguing. Oh, he and I guess that he was trying to hear none of that and just pause. So like, man, that's a travel. Then they said, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Then they what you said, trying to do? Then they said they proceed to see the man reach for his uh his uh waistline. Ooh. And I uh, well, his like waistband or whatever, right, right. and then he pulled out the strap and pulled it from the back, and everybody just proceeded to run. But he did. Find and he start. He right, started dumping. Right and they say he shot like his whole clip, just dump, just open up and just start spraying. So why? I don't know, my thing is, for one, that being a coach, why are you at a game with a gun in your hand? <laughs> that, that, that's the question. What? Hold on, hold on. And he was coaching with the gun in the waistline. I know he was jumping around because it shows him in a sweatsuit. So I know he was all jumping around. So he could have got shot at any time. Wow. He could have shot himself like Cheddar Bobby exactly. anytime. Cheddar this man, Bobby himself. This man TV. reckless. And this just be. um and this and this goes into the conference we had a couple weeks back about racial equality and the one we were at, uh, we were having now uh, pertaining to um this is why stuff gets well with black people get swept under the you know under the rug because we can do something profound and then do something stupid like this. Exactly. Other thing you can call this just just talk about black people on this man. This coach is a dummy, man. He's definitely he's, he's in general no black no white. He's a dummy. He goes in the category. But let me ask you this. But let me ask you this. Are they gonna are they gonna see it as that? 
Do they ever see as that? No. He's just like not at all. just like how when we see somebody shoot up a school, we be like, oh, that's just that crazy white person stuff. Like, just like they, they just don't. We don't see it as that as a society. We see it as everything has to do with race. True. Yeah. That's true. That Shouldn't is be like that. That, but that is how it goes. We we do think that like man. That's once I mean, once we get away from that as a society, then maybe I don't know. It might be. Then maybe they'll say that big yeah. dudes are dumb. Yeah. Then it might be like. I tell you, we go down down here about this, and we see the dude with the little Confederate flag, and we ask him, and we read him about this. He say, "Oh, those crazy n words, or those dumb n words, or you know, characterizing us as a whole group with this crazy man." That's just how it <laughs> goes. Exactly. Right? People, yeah, people well, are not marginalized by oh. by our race. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> marginalized. <laughs> marginalize me till I'm they, out of my moment. That's what they trying to do. That's man. what they trying to do. They trying to marginalize it's us to we're out of our moment. So do it for it, man. He's trying to marginalize us by whipping out the gun at the rec center. What type of idiot? You know, actually, I, I got a story about something like this, too. You know what I'm saying? You saw, you saw what he said. He's so trying to bring us You saw what he said. I, 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 I heard, all right, so listen. It's there was, this, there was, this, this, I, I listened to this on the radio and looked into it because I couldn't believe it. So um, here, th- there was this lady who uh, went to McDonald's, and uh, she went there to order a, a, a cheeseburger with bacon on it. And um, one of your orders. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. yep. I wouldn't have been at McDonald's. Extra ketchup, man. I gotta listen. So this lady went in to order a burger with bacon, and they didn't put bacon on her burger. Oh, she turned. So out. she left. You know what I'm saying? Didn't see the bacon. She called him and said, you know, I didn't get the bacon on my burger. I need my bacon burgers free for the next time I come back. So they agreed to that deal. Reasonable. And she came back later on that same day. It might have been later on that night. She came at lunchtime the first time. She came at night this time. And and this lady was wow. All right, excuse me. All right, yeah, he was playing around with his phone. I caught it all ringing and stuff. But so this lady, uh, so she came back and ordered the same thing, the two bacon burgers, and they messed up her order again. Oh, not the second time. They messed up her order again for the second time. So. This lady actually pulled out her gun and shot through the drop the window. Wow. Wow. How wow. upset wow. can you be? Like that, that, man. Man. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I know you ain't messing my brother again. Like, wow. Oh, no, they didn't. What do you think? What do you, like, what is going through your mind? She wanted that bacon, man. That's some stuff you want to see on cartoons. You know what I'm saying? I would expect that to be on the Boondocks episode or something like that. Look, man. Look, man, I understand that. McDonald's use the Applewood smoked bacon that, you know, they don't even flip themselves. They just hit a button and it goes down. And I understand it's just not that good. So, therefore, what is she tripping for? She wanted that swine, man. You got to let her live. I don't know, nah, man. Dude, she could have went to, she could have went to Wendy's and I'm pretty sure they went through. She could have got a, like, could have got a baconator. And I'm pretty sure I'm they went through. I'm not saying I am trying to shoot. Drop, 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 drop through. But I do see where she's coming from about getting upset. It's no, you don't. She's coming from. She's probably going to no, go to for like five years. For she's an idiot. No, you don't. Because at most, you would have went in. Oh, we were shooting over it. Oh, at most, you you would have went, went into the restaurant. This lady decided to skip that step and start dumping. She shot the She was that stage. She already talked to a the woman. They played around the second time. It was go time. Okay, she could have went inside. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm pretty <laughs> sure. There's no more talking. You know, you and I have a lot of fast food experience. I'm pretty sure there have been people who came back in and we made the sandwich right there in front of them. I done seen some wild stuff, man. Twitter is crazy. I done seen some people throw the food at the cashier. Why right. do you make the food? Right. And I also seen some dude oh, yeah. like, I don't see so many food out there for it. They had a face full of fries because you mad and present here. Yeah. yeah. Man, what type of stuff is that? I also see some dude be like, man, who made this MF and burger, man? Yeah. Who did this, man? Yeah. Who did this? Hey, hey, this hey, hey, you did a good job, bro. <laughs> yeah. You did a great yeah. job. That's a fantastic burger. I'm tripping on you. You know, man. you would do a lot of stuff to get laughs, man. Some Wait, ridiculous this stuff, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because oh, all that stuff is just trying to be funny, pure comedy. And the people who work back there, I've worked at McDonald's and Wendy's. It's real hot back there, And man. you know what I'm saying? Oh, we're we're annoyed all the time, so, man. Yeah, we're annoyed. Because like, people coming by, it was coning us and stuff, like throwing ice cream cones oh, back man. in the window. That's like coning us. Yeah, they're throwing yeah. ice cream cones back in the window. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Coning is where, like, you know, at McDonald's, you make an ice cream cone, and you put a hand it to somebody, and they throw it back. And they, like, either throw it back or, like, Smashing into your hands or something, or you know what I'm saying? Just, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, just do it. It's so silly. Oh my god, they take off and bounce. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no
and 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 they like they, they make a mess. They waste their money for one. Like, yeah. All for a joke. Like they, they come in, let me get an ice cream cone, the smash it in ass, and throwing it on the white shirt. shirt and stuff. They only give you one. Yeah, yeah. 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 throwing it on your one shirt to just make it. Especially when you're my brother, it never happened to you, man. No, I. Nah, I I I swear about that, man, because at my McDonald's, bro, it was at night, and I'd be in the front. You know, that's my way in the front. Man, my dude, Javante, he the manager. He made this perfect cone, gave it to this lady, and this lady had the nerve to throw it back because it didn't have nuts added on there. So she threw it back, mm -hmm. and Javante hit it with the, oh, yeah, and he moved, bro. That's it? And it came, and it came flying, bro, and it, it landed, like, right in front of me, and I was like, oh, my God. Wow. It's never that serious. It was almost over with for you, for your uniform. Yeah, bro, because I was over there making a flurry. No, I was over there making a I was just about to get a flurry. I was over there making a flurry, bro, and I just was so surprised. But none, man, but none was worse than. Y'all understand what I'm talking about to be fast with people, man. None is worse than y'all coming in through the lunch shift and y'all decided y'all don't want y'all food anymore after we've already made all that food. Y'all order something ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
with Courtney, and she uh, she knows the the stuff, you know what I'm saying? So she like she because she was being a being a waitress, she would tell me like like you know what I'm saying. The thing the is, we sometimes you know because we was out in like Macedonia, like the people who come out there. They say like if they see like a, a young black group, they, the waitress would say like I don't want the table. I know they're not gonna tip. You know what I'm saying? Or or they would see like you know what I'm saying a group that they would say that looked like you know what I'm saying what they had quoted there like a, a, a white trash group. Like we know they're not gonna uh, tip. You know what I'm saying? They look at a big family. They say oh, I want man, them because they're gonna tip. Wow. That's what the, the words that were used. That so so that's that's right. Right. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you know I'm, I'm not censoring anything. So uh. Then they, they, you know what I'm saying, they looked at everybody and, and you know what I'm saying, they look at a big family, they say, I feel like they're going to tip good. I mean, everybody, everybody, do, everybody do probably love a big family. Right. You know, the, 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 the Easter Sunday, you know what I'm saying, they talked about how if they come to the to our table with a bad attitude on some, I feel like they're not going to tip me, so I'm going to treat them a certain way. You know what I'm saying, we feed off that energy, so we don't want to tip you because you're being like that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. And it's just I might bring you a dollar. It's just off of somebody's appearance, though. Just like that, that you can look at a group walk in and say, I know they're not going to give me any extra money. Like, see, you know, but you, know, you, you can't make assumptions. See, but y'all haven't, y'all haven't, y'all haven't updated everybody since, since we had a conversation about tipping. Y'all don't even tell, y'all don't even tell them about our favorite waitress when we go get some wings. Oh, in Madison, she's the only one who gets tipped. Oh, she looks at man. So much. She's the, no, y'all no, you gotta explain why though. She's the only one who will ever come, be come in and sit down. And she shows up with the pitcher and the four cups of water off top. She knows that to no give question. us a menu, and she because she, she knows no menu. Yeah, she don't give us no menu because no yeah, she, no she know what we want. And she come, she come back with the pad ready on some. On some. You know what, man? I don't even think next time we, we she needs the pad. She doesn't. She don't know. Matter of fact, matter of fact, she wouldn't that bro. Can you even order no wings? And she said, "Wow, you usually get the ten honey barbecue. You yeah. not get none today." She was on my back. It was crazy. Now that's the worst that get tipped, not the one with the bad attitude and just knows you're not gonna tip because you might have got a dollar. Now you mess up. Man, it's a bad word here at McDonald's, man. Like, no, who at McDonald's? Like, they, they get they got attitudes sometimes, man. They come in there with attitudes. I don't know. If it wasn't her shift. You know what I'm saying? She had to stay extra or whatever. But you always show attitudes there, man. You gotta crack. I I never seen a, a somebody upset in Chick Fil A. In McDonald's, I see it all the time. When do you go in Chick Fil A? They always saw the ground. The more yes. time, the breakfast rush, they're always salty in there. Chick-fil-A, man, everybody got a smile on their face, all happy, giving you lemonade. They they to, that's their that's they policy to say, like, my pleasure and stuff oh, like really? that. They, they got to say that. McDonald's? Like, oh, no, man. You, because of the fact, okay, 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 let me ask you this. What's let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, right? Do you expect more from Chick-fil-A than you do McDonald's? Yep, I do. So that's the way you're going to treat the workers in I mean, in McDonald's. You'll say, it's nothing. You're working at McDonald's. I want my McDouble right now. And there, it's a filet. You expect more because it's a better price. I mean, it's higher prices. No. You won't expect more. Oh, you mean, it's a better, I mean, a better chicken sandwich than you gonna find at McDonald's. What I say is, right? Look, man, I give me a nugget meal at McDonald's. Let me get a nugget meal at Chick Fil A, and those responses are gonna be different because McDonald's plays around the workers in there, man. Y'all have attitudes. Well, you know what, Randy? I that don't know. I don't you, know which man. McDonald's he was going to, but if you would came around there when. I was on the shift on the late night shift. Then Randy, I would have gave you a nice little thank you for choosing McDonald's. How may I help you? And I would have been like, is that all for you tonight? Great choices, sir. Have a great day. And that's what I would have gave you, Randy. That's what you would have got from me. And as soon as you came out to that window, you know what? I won. I won um, the customer service employee of like that month or whatever because I gave him the winning smile oh, every time. No matter what you getting, you play around with me. It doesn't matter. You still get the winning smile. I would gave you that, Randy. Did you think about this? Your time. You knew that you eating those McDonald's. Nuggets with love. You would have thought I made them with love. Hey, you McDonald's nuggets are terrible. I don't know what you're talking about. They are terrible. Wow. Because no matter Randy Stevens will come and get them, I still eat them. No matter what Randy's going to order from there, he's going to think that I personally went back there and I made it myself because that's how I was giving it off to you. It all depends on the person because of the fact that, yeah, I wasn't, you know, like, yeah, like my thing would change if I didn't work the double because I'm tired. And because of the fact that y'all really know what's going on back there, because the lunch rush itself, you will go from you go from going there at twelve o'clock during the lunch rush, and now it's three o'clock, and you feel like you've been there for fifteen minutes. Am I lying? That's that's true. You'll never even know. Oh. You can't mess nothing up, cause that mess up literally the whole process. I mean, his but his point is on some. If I come to the window and you give me my food, and I ask you for some ketchup, I don't want to some man. Some, <laughs> here. 
I didn't ask for all that. But still, all I wanted was some more ketchup. But still, you like, don't, but still, you don't know. But still, man, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't. I don't know what they've been through. I don't know what they've been through. Exactly. You don't. Exactly. You don't. You don't care, bro. It's all I'm saying is. All I'm saying is when your issues, I just want ketchup. All I'm saying is. All I'm saying is the maximum amount of ketchup we were supposed to give you. Yeah, and we couldn't give you more. We couldn't give you more. Max amount now, man. There's been max amount. Just like, just like how, just like how. Just like, how, just like how people like you want to come through and y'all want to get y'all little ten piece nuggets and y'all get one sauce and y'all want to ask me for some more and then and then I have to make it. Hold on, 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 and then and then I throw another sauce in there for you for free of charge and you only got to pay for it and then you ask me for another one. I have an attitude because of the fact that I gave you some more sauce for free because you're not gonna pay for that sauce. It's fifty cents. It should be a mandatory. Two sauces, you get ten points. You get one for ten. Uh, I mean, for, that's for the ten. You can add twelve in twenty years too. Yeah, yeah, basically that's what they tell me. Twenty years too. You might as well give me no sauce. All right, dry nuggets. Is that what you want? I'm giving you water. Oh, so okay. Wait, wait, wait. My nuggets are so dry. I'm giving them water. Since y'all are saying, wait, ladies can give me four, four, two, four pieces and give me two sauces. So I don't just understand how that's eight oh, nuggets, and I get two sauces but here's, but, but here's what I'm saying. Y'all for yeah, but here's what I'm saying. Why? Because McDonald's plays around with light. <laughs> well, here's what I'm saying. McDonald's makes a lot more money than these two. Here's what I'm saying. They've been around longer. Here's, but here's what I'm saying. Y'all want to look at the perspective of, you know, Okafor, and he was all chilling up with whatever that boy name is. What are we is. talking about? And he was all, and, 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 and we ain't going to give anybody for the doubt about looking from a different perspective, whether he want to play or not. You never worked back there. I want you to get in the middle for the dough. There's real savage back there. You've never even been in a fast food process. You've never been I anything back it. there. So you don't know what's going on back there. But I know you just got to keep pushing, man. I've been in situations people don't no, push me out of you. No, you know what I mean? And I, no, I just got to bounce back. A you, you never been, customer you, with this smile on my face. I've been cussed out in the front because of the fact that their filet fish sandwich had too many shots of tartar sauce on it. Because they had two shots instead of just one. Wouldn't you be upset if somebody cussed you out for something you didn't do? Because the guy back there squared it twice, and he was supposed to squirt once on the tartar sauce, and now you're getting cussed out in the front? Wouldn't you be upset if you heard somebody cussing you out from something that corporate or automated voice message system said to them? Somebody that's not real? And I still need to get I was still getting bitch friends out because I know you probably be going through it because it is you haul. I know everybody be thirsty for you haul. Like everybody be thirsty for McDonald's, you understand that McDonald's is something that some people just, that's their only option. You see Wendy's, you see Chick-fil-A, some people just don't go there, they go to McDonald's. Hey look man, I've always been a physical labor man, I don't work with people. <laughs> I work with the You can catch me on the roof, you can catch me cutting some grass, you can catch me laying some, you can catch me laying some wood. Laying some bricks? Going, yeah. If, we talk, some bricks. if we were to talk about factory jobs, man, can I have stories for that too? I don't know man, it's a whole different <laughs> animal when you talk about what he's talking about. Yeah. He's talking about manual I'm talking labor. I'm talking about manual about labor. We're talking about machines that you press buttons and do stuff. No, no, like no, 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 no. I'm not talking about those factories where you press a button. I'm talking about the factories that are built for men. I'm talking about the one where you are hauling around wood in that joint. You doing real stuff in there. You get splinters in your hands and all that. You doing real stuff. There's no kid job when you're doing manual labor. I'm hauling around wood. Exactly. I'm I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm if you're carrying a you're still building yourself. I put up the drywall. Paint it. I do, do it all. all. That's it all. I do it all. The handyman. You do it all, you know. Look, man, all I'm saying is these customer service reps and these manual laborers are people too. They are. And you know, they I never do get knowledge as people either. They just, people just want their stuff. That's all they want. <laughs> That's the only thing and you they want. And they be real upset. Supply and demand, man. We don't care anybody, anything about the workers and their feelings. But we need to. I'm glad we acknowledge this on the show. Why now. should we care about those people? What about, what, about our needs? Needs? what about our needs? Because now I'm thinking about what happened to me on Valentine's Day at the movie theater where they wanted to pay around my, my money. <laughs> Why should we care about those people when we're, when we're at when we're losing here? What about my money that I need? Who cares about my $20 that I'm not getting in the movie theater it's not paid and it's off my card? Okay, okay. That's, that's a perfect true. example though, bro. Because you think about it is how you turned up on them, but what did they do? They kept maintaining their professionalism, right? Yeah. They was like, sir, sir, just calm just down. Hold on, hold on. I want to do the flip around, right? You like, hey, look, man, I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with that. your money, man. Don't you talk to me like that. I would have meant to talk to you. You were talking to me, man. You were talking to me, man. I don't care nothing about your money. You don't care about your money. But I'm saying, but I'm saying, though. Can you notice? He was real. He was real patient for a very long time. I tried, him. and they wasn't giving him answers. You would get mad too if you wasn't giving answers. You wouldn't get answers. Yeah. And everybody keep dancing around, just yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Out of just like another place I know that dances around when you ask them 
straightforward questions. You know, but we're not gonna talk about that. Right. Well, you know what I'm saying? You would get mad when you get stuff danced around, right? You would exactly. get you getting danced around, dude. Exactly. You I just wanna know what's going on. Right? Right? What's happening here? Why is everybody playing around with my twenty dollars and why am I not seeing the movie that I paid for already? Exactly. So if he had turned up, then we'd have had to fight right then and there. I would have brought him over. I would, so yes, yes over my twenty dollars. You wouldn't have fought him over your twenty dollars. You would have left and accepted your no, loss. I wouldn't accept it. I would have dropped my twenty dollars back. So you know what? See, look, see, look. Here's how I think about twenty dollars, and here's how you think about twenty dollars. Everybody think about twenty dollars is just twenty dollars. Oh, twenty dollars is a lot of money. See, what I'm saying is, but here's how my I mean, thought process go. Do you know how much you make in an hour when you work at like these minimum wage jobs or all that? I make at the gap. I made eight fifty an hour, so that means just like I didn't pay my ticket to be two and a half hours of work, man. You just, just cheated like, you out of two and a half right, hours. Right, right, and that's how it worked. Yep. Just like how I didn't pay my ticket to BG and it was ten dollars, but that was two hours of work, bro. Because I made eight fifty an hour, so that means I'm about to sit up here and give you my ten dollars that you didn't work hard for because you want to give me a ticket. You know, I had a handicap sticker, so y'all was playing around, yeah, and I'll never see BG ever again. So exactly, <laughs> why? Why hey? It was my money I worked hard for. It. You know? Indeed, indeed. So when people spend their money, they should be able to get what, exactly what they want, what they're asking for. I feel like, I feel like they right. should. I feel yeah. like they should. But That's what know, customer service is all right, about. Right, but you still have consideration for the other person because they're people too. No, 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 see, man. I don't know. In this world, they're trying to hear that. I don't think those people care about you <laughs> at that window. Has anybody at the window, how many people actually go to the window and they actually care about you? How many people have actually just been like, you know what, man? I never care I'm going to throw two sauces in for you because I think you're you're a great person. you got to beg them for it. you got to ask them two no. or three times at McDonald's no. before they actually no. give you sauce. No, no, because you ain't never been feeling good one day and they ask you, hey, can I get another sauce? Gotcha. Must see, nice I was the guy who nice always threw extra sauce I threw, in there. I threw extra in there all the time. And, I'm I, about, and they didn't ask me, though. I'm talking about they asked me for ketchup, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. And I couldn't work with it. They took me off the window because I was going against procedure. I was giving too much extra sauce. I had to be slick. You got to be slick with it, man. Those so bullets. Oh, my God. They, I, used to, I used to slap a sauce in there. They would catch me and be like, where's your 50 cents? And I'd be like, bro, I just, I don't know. I was... I don't know what you're talking about, and I play crazy, and I'll get in trouble for not. From the block. But, yeah, <laughs> for for being on the they, back about the sauce. Want, they needed some sauce, bro. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was different for me because because I was in the front. I was using the front line by myself, so I was I was bagging and I was running. I was I was doing everything, so you needed some sauce. I was the sauce man. It's deeper than the sauce, man. It goes across the board with all that. It's, it's deeper than the sauce, man. It's deeper than the sauce. You know what I'm saying? You got the Chipotle burgers. They're only giving you half scoops, man. They play around. Yeah, they they play around so mean? much, bro. Yeah. My mom, I should have like, to ask you, like, there, like, dude, man, can I get a little more, bro? Because you play around me. Like, I hate when they scoop up the chicken yeah. and they hit you with the little, you know, the little... What are you doing? They take it. 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 Make it seem y'all ask him. Okay, man, you gonna hook me up or what? You gonna ask him? I just don't let them charge me over six fifty. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Juice just takes the loss. When they when it comes, they don't charge me over six fifty. I ask him like, when it comes to my money, some more chicken. You know what I'm saying? That's not chicken for you to be trying to charge me double. If you want to charge me, I'm gonna do some more. I'm not kidding. If you man, if you gonna charge for double, then throw it on. Let's let's make it be double. How I feel about service though, like if you go out to eat or anything, like wherever you go, and you spending your money. You should be able to get the things exactly how you want them. I agree. So, yeah, so yeah. when I, when I, when I, you know, what I'm saying, when I go out and stuff, and I feel like something's not done right, I speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's your money you paying for, it, and at the end of the day, if you don't like it, you wasted your money. And I'm not the type of guy to waste money. I just don't do That's that. With anything, man. So you, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm the type of dude that thinks that you get what you pay for. Yeah, you get what you pay for. I'm, I'm that type of dude, you know what I'm saying? You buy a twenty dollar vacuum cleaner, that's gonna be better than the one that's fifty dollars. You get what you pay for. It's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody keep looking for the cheaper price. Supply. You know that. And, 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 and you know that's all bad. They supply. always get the cheaper price. They always get the, the best supply of the demand. best. Supply and demand. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about me. You should get exactly what you have. Exactly. But I'm saying that you know, like small sir Okay. Places like big restaurants, like nice restaurants. So, for example, Bonefish. You know, like um, 
A tip is always implied, dude, because of the fact that you are like a nice restaurant. Forget that, man. Dude, but, for, my but, for, but, but for places like places like Applebee's and stuff like that, just not gonna do that. Let's just be honest here. You're just not gonna tip there. You don't tip at Bonefish unless you're me. I just don't tip, period. That's <laughs> just the life you live. That's just what I do. I've been tipping people lately. Remember I had one of my uh, girlfriends? I had everybody talk me in um, tipping. In the, uh, yeah. You're dumb. I remember, I remember, I had, I remember, I had one of my girlfriends working at Steak and Shake, and she didn't get tipped. Oh, she don't. Wow, like, man, you know your girl, man. You ain't even give me your tip? girlfriend. You didn't give your girlfriend a tip. Yeah, I was like, what you need to tip for? I'm like, dude, I'm like, we about to go out to the movies after. Got you that dress? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like you about to go for work at four? We about to go out to the movies anyway. So wow. while I'm about to sit up here and tip, Avery, hey, you're the worst. The Ice Man A played around. He's terrible, man. You know what? Oh, I think I'm gonna play some names yeah. now because <laughs> we need to get in a break. We got all over the place. Hey, I'm terrible for that, for real. Yeah, the worst, the worst type of person. But I'm saying the way I'm t- I was taking a roll right after that. Nobody want to hear you. I, I you're just terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I was going home to the PlayStation. Every was the PlayStation. The PlayStation? You no. was going home to the PlayStation. We're talking about two different people here, man. What's up, everybody? You're locked in to the Birds and the Bees, live from Heidelberg University on WHEI 88.9. We back. We got a Just can't. I just couldn't drop that banger. I got it big. I'll probably ego. drop it. Uh, I'm going to drop it we go off. This one little bangers and stuff, man. Ego. Uh, uh, uh. I, 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 I missed miss that thing. back there, man. What? Did y'all hear me? Oh, oh, did y'all hear me? That was terrible. Man, I think I'm about to go replay it from the episode. I don't think y'all heard it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she, she came it in on some crazy. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yeah. Dog. No. No, no, no. See, I'm going to ask the people, you know what I'm saying? And they gonna tell me how it sounded, but I know my vocals is on point, so I ain't even trying to hear it for real. Dude, oh, no. I know my vocals is on point. I'm not trying to get. I give it to Juice because Juice can sing, man. But the rest of y'all up wish. there, uh, no, no, you don't got no faith in no, me, man. No, Juice, no, Juice <laughs> sing like he from down south of the Baptist Church. That's how he sings. That's what it's all about. That <laughs> happens from the soul. Hey, you don't know, got faith in me, man. He must want me to just up some bangers. Do I'm up some singing bangers for the snap tonight, you know what I'm saying? Next time I get on here, I'm upping them singing bangers because the man don't got no faith in me, man. I might sing after the show for y'all, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because he don't got no faith in me. So when the show go up tonight, DJ Fake Floss, DJ, yeah. DJ Fake Floss is coming through. And I'm singing for y'all, man. I put that on everything. So if you're not, so, so, trying to show up so, if you're not so if you're not DJ, you're going to be singing, then who are you? You're going to be Fake Ocean? Wow. Wow. wow! I just want to know. Wow. I want to know what the personality I'm be talking to today. Chris Cloud. That's what I'm gonna be. You can just call Chris me Chris Cloud, Cloud today, cause I'm coming. Yeah. In, I'm coming in with straight bangers, vocals, vocals, You know what I'm saying? You gotta be ready for for what I'm gonna drop for y'all, cause once this song come on, I'm like, man, I ain't no conductor blow like that. You know what I'm saying? They gonna be calling my phone, asking me for them features. He gonna want me to feature on your mixtape. That's you know, I'm, I'm, I'm already gonna feature the now. Nah, I'm, I'm singing. No, I ain't rapping. No rap. I'm singing. He's singing. I'm coming in and singing. Dude, no, he can't. For y'all on Twitter talking about, he can really say, no, he can't. Wow. So did I. I Y'all just, y'all be, y'all be playing like I don't got them vocals, yeah, bro. I'm about to sit in man. Wow. Y'all just yeah, trying to play. Hey, hey, bro. Me and Beyonce yeah. wanted the same. It, hey, bro. It, yeah, hey, bro. Hey, bro. Man. Hey, man. Hey, look, man. Hey, look. The only way I really think you could sing is if you got in the booth and you had Kanye behind you. You had, you had Kanye on the soundboard and he was doing everything for you. He probably could make you to the best star ever. You're ridiculous. The greatest singing star ever. He doesn't ever. trust me. He needs some auto tone. That's what you need. Is that what he needs? Like future? future? Young T Pay. Future. Y'all trying to play me, but look though, we coming to y'all on Wednesday with some with some more topics, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have some legit stuff to talk about, some stuff that y'all love. You gonna explain why today was like this? Today was like this because we, the way practice did us, we messed up schedule. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We usually, we usually get the topics we together, time, but we couldn't have, have it. Go over everything, but it, it, ain't work, it ain't work like that today. So we came on some current event type stuff today, but next time we're going to have something legit for y'all, and then Word Play Wednesday, you know what's coming up. Okay. I might, I might yeah. just sing a song. Yeah. 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 I might just sing a song. So hey, hey, I'm say, hey, 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 another news, another recent uh, topic before we get up out of here. Um, I'm starting to go fund me. Um, it's not going to be a big thing. It's just that I need a do rag and wow. I need it now. Wow. He's at home on an extra long break. He's in bad mood, Yeah, bro. 
I was all trying to get gas. And I'm we like, need wow, wow, we need I'm like, I forgot my dude. I'll go get a do bag. You if y'all, if y'all want me to, meet, if y'all really need me to get a bus too, he wants the fro bag. He can come to the bus. He can go to you. We get to George. He can go to George. Well, he's gonna go to George. All I need, dude. All I need is for y'all to sit up here and get on GoFundMe and go buy me do bag and also a brush. I took the nigga. Hey. Well, yeah, look out for me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro hey, I tried to out some new music, though. You know, uh, Wale just dropped his album. And we need all this uh, music. Man, I'm just dropping yeah, some music. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, not music. She's dropping an album tomorrow. tomorrow. Big yeah. shit we need. We need new stuff. Gucci dropping Trap House 5 tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, uh, we about to see if we can get this stuff on the shelf. We're going to learn how to mix the music or whatever. So we're going to see if we can get on for y'all. Yeah. And Robin has been putting on good music for us. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So we're going to see if we can get some good music for y'all. Send me a request, though. Text me, you know what I'm saying? Let me know. Tweet me. Let me know what y'all trying to hear. I'm going to see if I can get it for yeah, you. Man. But let us know. But let us know. Y'all see y'all love us on Twitter, man. But let us know early. But let us know early because yeah, yeah, me and Kim Young got to do a lot of mixing. It takes a long time. So let us know. If y'all really want that, then we'll do it. All right, though. Uh. Oh, there's the outro, it's just not there. Oh, Amy's playing. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Oh, 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 my God. Mommy. Wow. What was the outro? What were you doing for the outro on this? Yeah. yeah. All right, y'all. So, let's sign us out. We got the outro there. We'll do it. Everybody, just play it well. Yeah, I'll put it right there for we'll you. We'll see yeah. y'all on Wednesday. Oh, 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 did you see? Oh, what? That's what they just. <laughs> 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 but anyway, we got it, man. I love y'all. What's poppin'? This Juice. Randy. Avery. And Kendall. Be sure to listen to our show, The Birds and the Bees. Live Mondays and Wednesday nights from 8 to 10 p.m. You know we talking about everything your mama left out. Now let's get back to these bangers we got for y'all right now on WHEI 88.9. Yeah!